Hello, welcome to Docker Tutorials again. So in part one, we installed Docker on an Ubuntu machine. And now what we're going to do first thing, we're going to verify our installation. So let's just start. Let's SSH to that machine. Docker Tutorials. All right, here you go. So sudo docker version. So it shows you the client version, client API version, Go version, last git commit, server version, server API, Go version, git commit. So that means you are ready to go. And if you just type this, it will show you all the all the commands that you can use with this docker client so what what we are interacting with is it's a docker client and there is a docker engine that is doing the heavy lifting work for us so for now uh, what you're gonna do let's create um, so let's create a simple docker container in interactive mode so what are you gonna do sudo docker dash t for terminal dash i for interactive mode and we can give it a name that's my first container my first container and name of image um, let's say Ubuntu 14.04 and this is the command that we're gonna run this container. One thing, one thing we have missed here, and that is that sudo docker, it should be run command. So, fourteen oh four. I think it should be 14.04. Um, okay, let's see. Or you can leave it as it is for like Ubuntu. So what it's gonna do, it'll pick up the latest one. So in this command, um, this is run command that says that create a Docker container using this Ubuntu image. That's a base image and Docker client gonna search first in your local repository on your local machine or the Docker host. In this case, um, if you see here, so this is my machine Docker tutorials. Docker tutorials is Docker host. Um, so first Docker engine, so for the Docker engine gonna search on Docker tutorials machine, and that means Docker host that if Ubuntu image is available there and if not then it will be pulled from docker public repository they call it docker hub and uh, dash t is for getting a terminal sometimes they call it pseudo terminal and this dash i is for interactive mode and this is just name of that container that we have given my first container and uh, yeah, that's it. Let's see what happens. So it says that unable to find image Ubuntu locally. As we said that it will find first locally and in this case it could not find that because we are just running it first time. And what it did here, so you see that a Docker container is created. I show you here. So if you see the sudo docker ps and uh, it shows you here that name of the container is my first container and that has been created 19 seconds ago i'm going to start this up 19 seconds ago it was created 20 seconds ago and this is the process running and that's why you see here that root and this container id that means this is full fledged operating system like docker container you can see inside so 
So if you see LS, you see everything, this file system and all. And you can do top and whatever you want to do. So see here. So this is we have created our first container. Now the life of the container is like it is this Docker container is running till that process in the command that with a slash bin slash like we said that um like this to start this bash so 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 this docker container is running till that bash terminal is executing or the command we give with docker run so now if we check out here just let me make that clear if you exit out here and then you check it again sudo docker ps then there is no container running but you can check that out that this is here and it was exited successfully with the return code zero so now in this tutorial what we saw that how to create your first docker container and then in, in interactive mode and then you need to see that how you can remove that container so what do you need to do sudo docker rm and then name of your container sudo docker rm my first container okay so sudo docker rm let's copy it might be that okay so it returned name of this that means that now you will not be able to see that container anymore it has gone you can check out what images you have here sudo docker images and you see that this is the only image that you have locally on your machine and that is downloaded as you saw when we when we executed that command ubuntu run and then dash t dash i and then name of the container and then image ubuntu and then bin bash so so this is this is how to use the docker image and create containers and remove that container in next tutorial we're gonna see how to create a container using a docker file or in fact more precisely how to create a docker image using docker file and then that image can be utilized as we did with this Thank you for checking it out.